Hello and welcome to a home car vlog. <laughs> We're in the car. We just got done with swim lessons. Jackson did great. Right, job, buddy? buddy? Yeah. What'd they say? All right. Close to the next class, I think. 20. Oh, is that what they said? Close to the next class. Oh, yeah. They're, he's close to leveling up to the next swim class. He did fantastic. The baby did great. We haven't been to swim class in a couple of weeks because we've been out of town because we've been on the cruise. Which, by the way, sorry to break up these cruise videos, but tomorrow is Easter. And so we wanted to make sure that we got our, our Easter vlog out. So every, which you'll see tomorrow, but every year we have a tradition where we plant our Easter egg seeds. So we're gonna do that later on today. And then tomorrow you'll get to see what, what planted, what bloomed. What grew. Yeah, from our Easter egg seeds. And then we need to hard boil some eggs today. Oh yeah. So that we can, cause we got one of those like spin guys. You know what I mean? Where you like put the egg on a, on a, like a roller and then you use a marker and you mix uh, stripes with a marker basically. Jackson seemed pretty excited about it. I've never done one. We've never done one. So that should be fun. So right now though, we are headed back home after swim lessons. We're gonna grab some lunch and we'll start our day. All right, so we're back home after swim lessons. We grabbed a little lunch. We just went to, uh, what is this place called? New Jersey Michaels. Uh, by the way, when I say that, I'm kidding. It's a joke. I know it's called Jersey Mike's. Some people got very upset that I called it New Jersey Michaels. I used his formal name and some people did not like that, but it's just a joke. So I don't even know why I have to say that, but people get, you know, very commenty in the comments. So, <laughs> which by the way, we appreciate that you guys take the time to comment, even if it's a silly comment, we appreciate it. So yeah, but we're eating some lunch. I got, I have some stuff I have to do today. I need to finish, sorry, my hair is wild. I didn't uh, blow dry my hair, I let it air dry. And when, I don't know why when I do that, my like baby hairs, Mom, so when I, yes. This is not hamster and Gretel, this, this is um. This is not hamster and Gretel. Oh, it's Kif. You don't wanna watch Kif? No. What, we love Kif. Okay, let's see, we need hamster and Gretel, BRB. But real, real quick, before I do hamster and Gretel, I wanted to show them your lunch. He asked for berries and a quesadilla. So that's what we got, right bud? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this guy, always watching. He's seen some things. Look at that face. <laughs> we ended up on Roly Poly Oly. I think it's so strange that he likes that show because <laughs> it's, it's very old and you can tell it's age, like the, uh, the animation and everything. It, you know, I don't know, I just, I don't know. Anyway, so that's what we're watching, but we're gonna eat some lunch. We're gonna we're gonna uh, plant some Easter egg seeds, which are just jelly beans. And then, what else? We got? I I need to edit the video where we went to St. Thomas. I still have to edit that. And then we were just looking into is there something that we can do with the family before school starts? School hasn't even ended yet. School ends in May, and then starts back up like mid August. But we're trying to figure out, is there something we can do? Maybe go to Anna Maria Island, which we love. That's like our favorite Florida beach. So beautiful. Can we, I don't know, something we can all do together. I was thinking maybe Discovery Cove. That's always very fun. I don't know, something for the whole fam. But yeah, so we were looking at some beach house rentals for Anna Maria. Oh, another thing we were trying to figure out, which maybe you guys can help us with, is we need a new washer and dryer. And do you guys have one that you love? Do you know what is the best? I'm sure Tim will look on Wirecutter and figure out what Wirecutter says is the best. Wirecutter is a website that like puts together, they kind of do all the testing and they do, it's kind of like, um, what's that other website where they tell you all the good buyer's digest or something? I, you know what I'm talking about? Where like, they tell you what to buy it. They're like, we did all the tests. We did, we took all the reviews. We, we know what the best thing is, but Wirecutter is the one that Tim uses. But if you have one that you want to tell us about, I will take your suggestions. And then I also need a, a trunk organizer, like that's waterproof. So something that I can like put groceries in, something that I can put wet things in from swim class, something that, you know, if we go to the beach that I can put all the sandy stuff in, just kind of like keep everything contained, contain the mess in the trunk. Do you have something that you love that you use? Let me know. So yeah, but now I'm gonna eat my lunch and 
Tim's upstairs putting the baby back to sleep because he slept in the car and then he woke up as soon as we got home. It's like he knows that we're in the garage and he's like, I'm awake. But really he needed to go back to sleep, so. Today's gonna be kind of just like a, a lazy Saturday with a, a little Easter prep mixed in. Oh, the other thing we have to do is we need to hard boil some eggs so that we can do our egg marker thing that we were telling you about. It's this, where is it? I don't know where it is. Did we lose it? Uh-oh, we didn't use it and we lost it. <laughs> but we need to hard boil some eggs for that. Tim was asking me if I thought that we could just not hard boil the eggs and just put like raw eggs in there. And I was like, that sounds like the worst idea ever. Um, you know, men, how do they come up with these things? Alexa, knock, knock. Okay, here we go. Knock, knock. Who's here? Oyster. Oyster who? Oyster the pot. The chowder is burning. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah. All right, I am going to hard boil up the eggs. Here it is. It's called Egg Amazing. Egg Amazing Mini, six colorful mar markers included to create unique egg designs. So. Mini? There's a paper one? I guess. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna, um, I looked up a thing trying to figure out how to boil eggs without them cracking and it said that the easiest way to do that is to steam them so we're gonna steam some eggs we got our eggs we got our pot going with the water starting to boil i can smell it it says if you want them like hard hard boiled but like hard steamed cook them for 12 minutes hi hey bud baby buddy whoa look at you look at you can you turn it around can you turn it around, bud? You want me to help you? Yeah, here, let me help you. Let's do, oh, you got it? You kind of, you had it, buddy. There you go. There you go. He's so close to like, he has walked. He has walked, but he won't continuously walk. You want me to help you? Here, you got it. Help you? There you go. He's not like consistently walking. He gets kind of like nervous if he falls. Whoa, so he'll stop. But he is very good. You gonna spin it? Good job. There you go. Ha! Ah. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Building Duplo. Oh, okay. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, all right, a hover Duplo. Yeah. Hover truck. Uh, Did you get stuck, buddy? You can do it, I believe in you. Just go backwards. All right, my water is boiling, so I've started to put my eggs on. The cool thing about this is that it has like little spots for the eggs to sit on. Oh, sorry, it steamed up. <laughs> so, I always do that. But it has little spots for the eggs to sit on. So hopefully, oops, I think I'm gonna have to move them though. Because one's gonna have to go here. Yeah, there we go, okay. All right, cooks for 12 minutes. And then it does say to like lower the temperature slightly. All right, there we are. Setting a timer for 12 minutes. I'll let you know if they crack. Okay, it looks like we've got some uncracked hard steamed eggs right here. I think it worked. How do we know if they're fully cooked? Well, I have to cut them open. I can't do that until after we color them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, eggs are out of the pan, the pot, they're done. I gotta say, I think this turned out pretty good. I, you can't, it just looks like an egg. <laughs> but only one of them cracked and it was very slight. You can't, it's so weird because I could see it. I don't know if you can see it. I could see it when I took it out of the pot, but then when I put it, like when it contracted, when I put it in the ice bath, I can't see it anymore. You can sort of see the crack right there. You see that? That's the crack. But each of the other ones are totally fine. So there you go. Wanted to show you guys Oliver's egg that he painted yesterday. This is his Easter egg that he painted. Pretty What's good. the number? Oh, 31, 20, what is the it's number? It's the date. Oh, it's the last year, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, the wrong he year. Painted this only, the year. Only, only 23 days after being born. <laughs> He's a genius baby. Wow. Oh, our kids are geniuses. Right? No, I think, I think the she, parents, she on the other the hand, wrong date. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it turned out really good. He did a great job. Yeah. Look at Oliver. He's like, he's on a rampage right now. <laughs> he's just moving all the Duplos all over the house with this walker. He's having fun. Jackson's ready for fun. Oh, did you already pick one? I, pay, I had an egg in my hand. All right, bud. You've got it good here. Mm -hmm. 
Let's wait, let's turn it on and see what happens here. Oh, look at it, look at it go. Oh, it like straightens itself out. That was cool. Oh. All right, so now you just, now, you oh. just touch it. Okay, yeah, you don't have to push hard. Don't push hard. Wait, wait. Oh, where uh, is it? Uh, oh, look at that, there it goes. Ooh, don't, don't push, push hard. hard, don't, don't push, push hard. hard. Nice and light. Oh, this is getting great. Oh. Wow, this is fun. Yeah, no. Yeah, I know, he said. Oh, he tried to, oh, put all the, oh, jeez. Wow. So I was reading the story behind this and the guy who invented it, he sells these on a website called, oh, careful, very, very gentle. Oh, the, I think there's some bumps on the egg, which is making it hard to color the egg. But he sells these on a website called heybuddyheypal.com and he has another one for Christmas ornaments. But I guess what happened was is one Easter, he was watching his nieces and nephews make a big mess on the table with dye. And he said, I know what you need. And he got a screwdriver, a spoon and some hot glue and he, like a drill, like an electric screwdriver. And then he made this, like a, the rough draft of this. And then he sold this idea to probably the sharks on Shark Tank or something. This looks really awesome, buddy. I thought you were gonna tell us that he put his, an egg into a wood lathe. I don't like, <laughs> Spun it up, <laughs> let his kids do it. I mean, kind of sounds like it. But yeah, then he, then he made this like more professional version. Pretty neat. This is pretty great. Yeah, pretty I like brilliant it. Brilliant idea. Can mommy and daddy do one too, buddy? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And maybe baby brother could do one. I don't see why not. Yeah, you, of course you can, buddy. Let me see your finished product here. Let me look. Wow, buddy. I love the color patterns that you chose. It looks very cool. And so I was telling Jackson, this is the one that had the crack. It looks pretty neat. This really is egg amazing, you know? Guys, look, it's purple on the front already. It is? Yeah. How'd it get purple on the front? I didn't put it on. Oh. Oh, it got purple from the, the wheels. Oh, did it? That's pretty fun. Oh no. I guess you can't really do a whole lot of different stuff though. They kind of all are gonna look the same. You can make them all one color just like you would with regular eggs. Mm. You could also do like this. Can I do a little section, buddy? This, this buddy. Ready, watch this. I imagine they have to be food grade though, right? I don't know. Oliver's like, hey, what you what you doing up there? Oh yeah, this is they got egg amazing, tremendous. Oh yeah, that's the Christmas ornament one. This one is really cool, buddy. I like it a lot. Whoa! Oh, you did pink on the end. I love it. This one looks very neat. I know. I know. This might be my new favorite egg, buddy. This one looks very <laughs> cool. What do you think? Is that fun? Is he doing that? He's moving it back and forth. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you, which color do you want to do next? I'm giving him pink. Oh, yeah, I think he likes it. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? Now yellow. Ooh, yellow. Yellow, buddy. Let's see. You don't need to grab it every time, Oliver. Just like that. What do you think, Oliver? <clears throat> Oliver. Ooh, I love it. Ooh. Is that cool, bud? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Oliver, look, this is your egg. Whoa, oh no, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, don't, don't, <laughs> I thought for sure he was gonna smush it. But that's his egg, it turned out pretty cool. Let me see, why won't it focus on it? There it goes. That's his egg, pretty neat. Yeah, it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, look at you, little baby Picasso. Did Picasso do this with eggs? Uh, no, I mean, he's just an artist. Oh. <laughs> he wants to do the, more. The, uh, the inventor of the egg mazing, Picasso. What's bet his you, name? Bet you, you didn't know? know that. No, I don't know, some guy. Hey buddy, high pal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to say, I think this egg mazing is kind of excellent. It's pretty much a hit, I think. And the eggs are looking different. I was kind of nervous that they were gonna look too similar. 
but they are, they're, they're definitely looking different. Mm -hmm. All right, this little babes is going to have his nap. He got so worked up. Look at his so sweaty, his hair, his hair laid down. He gets so sweaty. I think he gets it from me. <laughs> he's very like warm bodied. Okay, so here's my egg. I think you probably saw it on the time lapse. Oh, Jackson wants you to see his. He's gonna add more to this one. I but know. what I did is I just kind of did the same on top as on the bottom. Jackson helped me a little bit with mine too. But don't you love it? It's yeah. fun, right? So here's my final product. I did find out that if you're getting like dark lines like this from the, the marker getting on the wheels, just some alcohol will get it off. Like isopropyl alcohol will clean up the wheels and then you will get a cleaner look on your egg rather than this dark line like I got. What time is it? Jelly bean time. Jelly bean time. So we were waiting for baby brother to wake up because we wanted him to also plant his jelly beans. Jackson was so excited and we said, we gotta wait for baby brother. So Jackson calls him Sillies. Uh-huh. And he goes, Sillies woke up. <laughs> Here's the little baby. Jackson found an egg in the pantry, like a, one of the little plastic ones. Oh no. Like, Where, it was. Where was it, bub? Oh no. That is very silly, buddy. That's but now. <laughs> no. All right, it is time. What are we doing, buddy? Jackson, what time Here's is it? Jelly beans. We're planting our Easter egg seeds, which are jelly beans. Jackson, what time is it? Uh, let me go. Oh, I thought he was no. going to say <laughs> it's jelly bean time. Five, um, um, well, five twelve. Five twelve. That's jelly bean time. No, no, five ten. Oh, five I was ten. Where you got five twelve from? I was like, what? So, this is Oliver's first time planting jelly bean seeds. Planting jelly beans. Very exciting bubble. stuff. Bubble. Every time he sees the pole, he goes, bubble, 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 bubble. bubble. Look, bubble. bubble. All right. Where are you gonna plant your first jelly bean? He's got his bubble. in the biggest bowl ever in the world. Oh, it's a good Ooh, spot. Good spot. Let me see how many more you got in there. 12. Okay, let's do it. Yep, 13 minus 1. That's 12. Okay. Well, that's Ooh. Good. All right, what's your strategy here? Are you just putting them wherever? I guess that is it. Yeah, I guess we're just putting them wherever. Do you want to do one of yours too? Let's see. Are you going to try to eat it? Don't. Please can't, don't. No, no. can't eat them. No, no. Can't eat them. No, no. It's, oh, it's just for planting. Throw it. Oh, throw. Jackson threw another throw. one. Say yuck. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. Throw it. Throw. Throw. You want to drop, drop it? it? Drop it. Go ahead. Drop. drop. Okay. You put it back in the... Oh, good job, buddy. How many do you have left? Do you want to put any in a spot that you'll remember so you can look and see if it grew? Oh, that's a good spot. Yep. That's a good spot. Good job. Did he? Is he planting his? Ooh, yeah. baby brother's planting his. Jackson planted all of his. Can I help? Not yet. Hold on. All right, drop it. There you go. Good, good job. job. Can I Let's put one over here. Hold on. Oliver's doing it. Let's see. Let's see. Good, good job, job, Oliver. <laughs> you want to do one for? Oh, uh -oh on big brother. You want to do one for baby Oliver? Oliver? Let him yeah. do one for baby Oliver. One you pick where Oliver. it goes. Where should it go, All bud? Right, throw that last one, Oliver. Good job. Whoa, Oliver. good job, good guys. Job. None left. He goes, look. So well I don't know done. if we've told you guys, but he's been saying, look. Look. Yeah. He said, <laughs> inside, he said, look at this. Look at this. Look, look at this hair going in the wind. Look. Yeah, look at that hair. We were deciding when his first haircut should be. Yeah. And Tim, I said, Tim thinks May. it should be like in a couple months, but I was like, I don't know if it's going to be long enough. Got it. Got it on <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing? Me too. Oh yeah, look at that. Easter hats. Easter hats. <laughs> you like mine, Jackson? Jackson, do you like my hat? Are you excited to come out in the morning and see what grew? Yeah. I'm very excited Did to you see. you see our plumerias are going to bloom? Ooh. 
or is this a mango tree? This is a papaya. Oh, a papaya tree. Looking good. By the way, the papaya is oh, there because one of the neighbor kids ran over Where that plumeria. Oh yeah. And his grandmother felt so bad she brought us a papaya tree. Yeah, and so it we looks. We have a papaya tree here now. It looks fantastic. That, that plumeria. Yeah. What did you say, buddy? Where are the jelly beans now? Where are they at? Well, they're them? they're kind of all over the yard. We need to find them all. Why do we need to find them? Oh, all right. So we're gonna get up early in the morning and see what early? what <laughs> early. We're gonna get up in the morning and see what bloomed there. Okay, I'm very excited to see what pops up tomorrow morning. Me two. Me three. I want. I want all what pops up tomorrow morning. Oh, you will, buddy. You will. You're probably gonna be the first one out there. You're gonna. <laughs> Okay, it's almost dinner time though, so I do need to get the kids dinner going, and then I gotta figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. Jelly beans. Jelly, je probably just jelly beans. Everybody always sends me like viral TikToks and stuff, and they're like, you should try this with the kids. So one of the ones that they sent me was to give Oliver some balls to see if he can walk better with them. So I'm gonna... Because they don't focus on walking, they focus on holding on the balls. He's got a ball in each hand. Yes, I will. Oh. <laughs> Come here, Oliver. Go to Big Brother. Whoa, look at that baby go. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> you distracted I'm him. Excited. I'm sorry. So now we're going to see if the, the experiment has any merit by replicating it without the balls. Let's Oliver, see. Oliver, come here. Go to Big Brother. Oh, let's try again, buddy. You ready? Go to Big Brother. Oliver, come here. He seems to. Seems to sit down. Let's try it again with the balls. Here you go, Oliver. Oliver, come here. He definitely Oliver, stands up longer with here. the balls. Go to Big Brother. <laughs> I mean, it kind of works. Good job. I wouldn't call it like a miracle or anything like that, but he is like definitely, he is more stable Oliver, when he's holding on to something. Stand up. Yeah, he was doing stand up. He's uh, like a comedian. He's like, what's the deal with airplane peanuts? But he's uh, he feels more stable, I guess, because he's holding on to something as if he were like holding on to a couch or a wall or something. So we just cleaned up a little bit and then Oliver's pulling everything back out. <laughs> so Jackson's spinning his egg and then I've got dinner going. This is the baby's dinner. This is what Oliver's having. He's having some chopped shredded chicken, chicken breast. You ready, buddy? I see, it looks very cool. He's also got some green beans and some quinoa mixed with mashed sweet potato. Some people were asking me in the comments, like they have kids around the same age as Oliver and Jackson, and they were curious what they eat. So he just kind of grabs everything with his hands, but we do offer him, but we do, oh, you want your water, buddy? Sorry. But they, we do offer him a spoon just so that he can start getting used to utensils. He'll try, but he just then kind of goes to his hands, so. I think your dinner looks pretty delish, buddy. Yeah, you guys want to see the aftermath of jelly beans? Yeah, jelly beans. Jackson, what did you tell me about taking a shortcut? Um, let me show you how to do this. Okay. Let me show you. Whoa. You okay? That was fun and exciting. Was that your shortcut? Yeah. I don't know if you know what a shortcut is. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what it means, but that's what it is to me. You see that? I did. I liked your little kick. Let me show you real quick what we're going to have. We're gonna have eggplant parmesan with garlicky tomato sauce and lemon basil couscous. Oh. Guys! So there you go. If you keep doing the shortcut, you'll see it better. All right, dinner is going. I have my stuff for my couscous, my sauce that I made with a little shallot, garlic, Italian seasoning, some olive oil, and roasted diced tomatoes. My couscous is cooking. And my eggplant, which I've roasted and then I've topped with a little breadcrumb, olive oil, and vegan mozzarella mixture is browning up. I'm gonna plate it. Uh, uh, Get excited. Whoa, Don't whoa. Touch the ground. Get excited like this kid. What is it? Uh, what, what's lava? what's on the ground? Yeah. Oh, oh no, oh no, <laughs> no. It wouldn't be me cooking dinner if I didn't make a mistake. I was supposed to put the sauce on the eggplant and then the breadcrumb mixture, so. Whoops. <laughs> so just a little change of plans. I put the sauce on top of, which I know is not right, but you know, sometimes you gotta make a little last minute call there. 
So I put it on top of the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put it back in the oven just for a second to get it like nice and melded together. It's still hot lava. Oh no, what a... I guess I have magic slippers that are that are saving me from the lava. Okay, this isn't exactly what it was supposed to look like because I did the sauce on top of the breadcrumbs, but I still think this is gonna be pretty good. The couscous had a lot of lemon juice, lemon zest, basil. So I think that's gonna be pretty delicious. So I just put the boys to sleep and my dreams were dashed. What? Because I had this idea that I was thinking to myself, I said, oh, Tim, you did it this time. What? I always say that I have these million dollar ideas. What? Right? But this time I was like, this really is a million dollar idea. Idea. You know those beach carts? Like foldable wagons that you take to the beach, yeah, right? Yeah. Once you get onto the sand, they're super hard to move around. Uh -huh. Right? But then I was thinking like, oh, like a kid's, every single kid out there has this little, an electric scooter. Yeah. Why don't we put a little motor on these carts, so make it easier. They already have one? Yeah, they, it's like, they're new though, like not, there's not a lot of them for sale. Right. But there are some for sale. Yeah. So. I think it should be like a sled on the bottom. Well, how do you get it across? Because, you know, you take it sometimes it's across like, the it's road. It's like Heelys. It's like Heelys where they, they, they go in. Oh, and then you sled it across the sand? Yeah, like with the, yeah. Okay, you think a sled would work easier on the sand than wheels do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You think that that would have been a thing already, right? Maybe not. I feel like electric motor is a step above sled. Yeah, but but my idea is like cheaper. What if you can't afford an electric? These darn wagons are literally fifty dollars. Oh really? Yeah, they're selling like there's a, some real cheap well, cheapos on there. Mine, mine would be forty nine ninety nine. Oh, yeah, saving you one penny, <laughs> and saving the world. Hey, I mean every penny counts. That's true. Remember Superman? Yeah, I do. There you go. <laughs> I'm still editing the video for the day. You're doing great. I'm almost done. Yeah, you're doing really good. Thanks. Proud of you. So on the frame TV, we've got some Easter art going. Well, we, we some bunnies searched. that are just fighting each other. I'm like, we searched for Easter art, and this is this is what they gave us. Oh wait, let me show you the other thing that they gave us. And then there's also this. <laughs> you see the. More like the creepster bunny. Oh no. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I can't hold it still. I'm too scared. Ha! <laughs> ah, wait! Whoa! There's another one. <laughs> also, Ringo Starr? <sighs> it's 12.30 at night in the morning. Still waiting on the Easter bunny. <laughs> Where is he? We stayed up to see if we could catch him. We did not catch him. But I just uploaded the video, so hopefully you watched the video yesterday. Probably you didn't watch it at, at 12.30 at night, but... Well, it's not 12.30 at night everywhere. That's that's very true. It's five o'clock somewhere, apparently. <laughs> I don't know how that works out. I'll link the video down below <laughs> so you can check it out if you haven't seen it. We went to St. Thomas. We went to this beautiful beach. It was amazing. We had the best time. It don't was tell like... anybody. It's called Secret Sands. Oh, it was a secret. It's keeping a secret. I don't know, but Jackson... I feel like it was definitely like core memories for Jackson, yeah. for us. It was awesome. It's a matter of fact, it really was because I know this for a fact because he, uh, what did we say? He, we were talking about sand. Yeah. He wanted to make his own sand. Okay. And he's like, I was like, I don't know how to do that. He goes, it's just crushed up shells. So I know that he like took note of what the sand right. was made of because you guys were sifting the sand to find shells. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And he loved that. He loved sifting the sand. Yeah. That was like a huge hit. So I'm not done with this idea of this powered wagon thing. Oh. So they may have taken my idea of the powered wagon. Okay. But there has to be something else out there that can be powered, like a powered shopping cart. Powered strollers? Mm, I feel like I wouldn't, that seems dangerous. Well, it's, it's regulated. If you let go, it stops. <laughs> okay. You know, it's like being on a jet ski. When you fall off the jet ski, you got the little thing that comes off with you, turns off the jet ski. So what you're saying is you should put your baby on a jet ski. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Who among us hasn't done that? <laughs> um, I know I sure haven't. But I did want to say dinner was good. Yeah, it was good. Even though I messed up and I accidentally put the sauce on top of the breadcrumbs, which was like, who, what? <laughs> who does that? Who was, does that? It was still very good. Yeah. I thought it, you didn't. I don't was lie. missing some Parmesan cheese. So it's vegan. So um, they don't give you, you know, you if you... They didn't give me any Parmesan, and I was like, oh, I'll put some regular Parmesan on it, but we were out, 
And Tim, Tim was very disappointed. I wasn't very disappointed. <laughs> he was. I was just like, we don't have any Parmesan? You go, are you Did sure? Did you like check behind <laughs> everything? <laughs> we don't. And she's like, no, we don't have any. I was like, okay. I, well, I felt bad because I really, I don't know, I thought it was pretty good. Hmm. I thought it was missing the bite of Parmesan. I just feel like, lower your expectations, you know? Is that, is that, is that like the <laughs> vegan slogan? <laughs> I'm sorry if you're vegan. I actually but really like, enjoy the vegan meals. I really like them. Like we've been talking about canceling the box for a while because we are talking about going back to doing just like chicken and rice and beans just to like, it'll be easy, groceries will be cheap. You know, it'll cut some like calories, just some like empty calories. And um, I kind of am, I like don't want to stop doing the box because I do like the, I do like the recipes. Right. And I feel like I've learned so much about like cooking mm -hmm. from these boxes. So I don't know. I like them. I don't know. I like them. I do. I do. But uh, yeah, but lower your expectations anyway. Just in general. In, in, just, in life. In general. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that because I'm like, I, I got to come up with something spectacular now. Well, I'm very excited for Easter. Oh yeah, Easter. I'm super. So we have, um, which I don't know if they're still good, but you got some stuff from the Grand Floridian when you saw the Easter eggs. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Is that still good? It's just chocolate. What? Oh, okay. So tomorrow well, like, we have chocolate some. Chocolate doesn't go bad, does it? I'm sure it does. I've eaten years old chocolate. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> I have eaten chocolate that is probably. Well over 15 years old. You think? Yeah. For what? Yeah. Who does that? Me. <laughs> like you don't age chocolate. It's not like a I wasn't cheese. specifically trying to age the chocolate. Oh. I was just like, oh look, there's that piece of chocolate. <laughs> what? I could eat that. Oh look, a piece of candy. Yeah. Um, so like we'll... scrounging around an old refrigerator. I guess we'll, I guess we'll see tomorrow. It wasn't our refrigerator, I should mention. No, not us. No. I, I, there's no way that chocolate would like last for 15 years in this house. It mm. wouldn't even last for like a week. Uh, I, I take offense to that because there are three chocolate bars that are waiting for s'mores to be made with them. Yeah. And I didn't eat them. Yeah, but that's for like, that's like an occasion. That's like an occasion chocolate bar. I'm yeah, not just that gonna is eat. chocolate that's gonna last in this house. Uh, we're gonna have s'mores in the next 15 years. I know, I'm not saying these are gonna last 15 <laughs> years, but you're just saying there are uh, things in here that won't last 15 days or something like that. All I'm saying is Easter's going to be really fun. Maybe, yeah, probably. That's <laughs> what about unpowering things? What do you mean? Like instead of a powered scooter, yeah. we take the power away from it and it's just a regular scooter. Is this a million dollar idea? <laughs> a manual electric manual? scooter. It's analog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, analog cars. Just push them like, like Flintstones. Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I think we should. I think so too. I mean, one day we're not going to have gas. We're not going to have like solar. We're not going to have batteries. We're going to have Why to use our feet. Why won't we have solar? Oh. What's happening to solar? <laughs> I'm just saying. It's the sun. If the <laughs> sun goes away, we're not going to be here. We'll still have feet. We'll still have, we won't. <laughs> we will, we will not. to have feet. Without the sun, we will you not lose exist. your feet. No. <laughs> Eclipse is coming. Everybody <laughs> check your feet the next, feet the next day. <laughs> Make sure they're still there. Oh, geez. No. What's going to happen to your feet? I hope that everybody during the solar eclipse looks down at their feet and is like, oh, still there. Yeah. Tim was wrong. Well, <laughs> was I? <laughs> yes. I, I wanted to go somewhere for the solar eclipse, but we ran out of time to book something. Yeah, no, I, it was, we were way too busy. Yeah. I like, I have so much to do, like as far as editing and just like, school stuff and holidays and I'm like I can't go I cannot go another place so we're just gonna have to eclipse it here sorry oh. check on our feet in Orlando you know what we should do what we should rent a Mitsubishi Eclipse and drive it around during the eclipse <laughs> can you rent a Mitsubishi Eclipse from Turo maybe like somebody's eclipse somebody's Mitsubishi Eclipse yeah. I bet they're all rented I bet you there are people no there's no way <laughs> I bet you there are people out there that don't even know what a Mitsubishi Eclipse is. Yeah. We saw a Plymouth Prowler the other day and we were like, hmm. Oh, that was that thing that, that looked like a thing, roadster? Ah, yeah. yeah. uh, Jackson was like, whoa, a roadster car in real life. It was yeah. like it was like Mickey and the Roadster Racers. 
like IRL is very cool. Yeah. But we do have to, okay, I know, I'm sorry. I'm having fun chatting with you guys, but it's almost one o'clock in the morning and we need to go to sleep so the Easter Bunny can come. All right, let's go to bed so the Easter Bunny can come. <laughs> okay. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. I'm very excited for tomorrow. Yes. Jackson was very excited for tomorrow. He's like, I have to fall asleep quick tonight. And he, boy, did he. <laughs> did he? He went to sleep very fast. The baby, on the other hand, he did not want to go to, he didn't uh, know that tomorrow was an exciting day. He doesn't know the Easter Bunny's coming. I know. Yeah. So he's going to learn something tomorrow. Right? He's yeah. going to come downstairs and go, what? Where are my feet? Where are my feet? <laughs> that was a callback. <laughs> the Flintstones. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we're off. We'll, we'll see, see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price. You say tomorrow? <laughs>